All right. Now we've got another person, November 2020, person number five on construction in Lokai, which is a similar person to the one of June uh, 2020, uh, question number four, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, it's actually a similar question if we are to check the scenario or the way it was given, only that the previous question, that one of June 2020, it had two lines and an, and one angle. Now you, they gave you two angles and one uh, side, or which is uh, important for you to note on a triangle. They can give you a scenario like this. All right, let us see how our sketch was going to be like in this case. We asked you to construct uh, triangle PQR. In this case, we've got two angles, 90 and 30 degrees. As I always say, make sure that the angles are on the base. So try by all means the 90 degrees and the 30 degrees to be on the base of the triangle. So this is a triangle of your sketch. It's just a sketch. I can choose my 90 degrees to be like this. It's just a sketch. Or maybe you can choose your triangle to be like this, right? Whatever way that you want. So uh, if you had to check it, P, Q, R is 90 degrees. So I can just say P, Q, Q, R. So P, Q, R is the one that is 90 degrees. And Q, R, P, 30. Q, R, P, 30 degrees. All right. So this is 90 degrees and this is 30 degrees. And we have got uh, Q, R, 7.5 centimeters. Q, R, 7.5 centimeters. And uh, what else are we given? Uh, that is the only part. We have got two angles and one side. And we, are, and we want to construct this triangle. So how are you going to have our triangle at the end from our sketch? Remember, everything starts from a, a point which is on a line. So you're going to need our ruler and our compass. All right. So let us see what we're going to have at the end. So this is what we have here. Let us mark uh, the first line. Um, the first line that you're going to have is where QR is where QR is found, all right? So uh, let me try to have it uh, along here. All right, so that's something like this, all right? From this line, we need the point Q, which is our reference point. So Q is our reference point. You can just mark it somewhere here. So this is your reference point Q. Uh, and what is happening at Q? From this point Q, there is a distance of 7.5, yes, but there's an, oh, an angle of 90 degrees there. So you can simply construct your 90 degree angle from, uh, from there. So our 90 degrees from this point is going to be at Q, just open a distance of your choice here at Q. So you're gonna have uh, a certain distance of your choice where you're gonna mark your arc. In this case, you mark the other arc on this side. Uh, this one, I think uh, we uh, used on uh, constructing the 90 degrees. So open more than half, construct an arc on top. So like I said, if there is a reference point, there's no need for you to construct another arc down. But if you want, then you can just uh, construct it up to you. It's your choice. All right, on this other hand, gonna construct an arc on top so that these two arcs will meet at a certain point like this. All right, so now we have got uh, our 90 degrees there. So by joining these two points, we know that we are going to obtain uh, 90 degrees from there. All right, so let us see what we're gonna have if we are to join uh, up to Q. So Q is our reference point, this one, uh, the part that is blue, this one. So you're just gonna join. And this 90 degrees, we do not know how, how long enough this line is going to be. So just draw, uh, a line that is uh, big enough like this one, we can just expect to have our, our P along this line. So let it be big enough so that uh, it does not uh, affect your, your drawing or your, your construction. From Q to R, you are given that there is uh, a distance that you are given there of uh, uh, 7,5. So meaning to say we are supposed to measure our 7,5 on our ruler. So let us take our ruler in this case. I want us to have the ruler. We measure, I mean the compass. So you're gonna take your compass in this case, you measure it 7,5 on your ruler. So let's say we have measured 7,5 like this. So you're supposed to be very careful on that part. Measure properly, all right, 7,5. Mark uh, this 7,5 uh, on this line. So this is where you have the point uh, that is at what at R, which is 7,5 centimeters from, from Q. All right. 
So we have got our point R in this case. So how can we obtain P? The only part that we are left with that we know is that from R here, there's an angle of 30 degrees. So meaning to say we can use that into consideration if we are to construct an angle of 30 degrees from R here, we know that it is going to meet this line at P. All right, so remember 30 degrees from a point, you're gonna construct 60. So 60, we just need uh, an arc, just a semicircular arc or just this one is enough. With this distance, without changing this distance with the point where this one is intersecting with the line, this arc where it is intersecting with the line, mark back another arc, back to the major arc like this. So you have got 60 degrees there. By joining this, you have got 60 degrees. But if you don't want to join, therefore continue from where this one is intersecting, this intersection and this intersection. Mark two arcs inside like this join. You have constructed 30 degrees by doing that. And make sure this distance that you have here has not changed. Do not change this distance, all right? So we are going to mark back from this arc here. Mark uh, an arc uh, this side, just somewhere here, an arc here. We do the same from this point here. We're gonna mark an arc like this. All right, so as you can see, these two arcs, they do meet at a certain point. Where these two arcs meet, we can join from R. That angle that we are going to have will be 130 degrees, which is inside of your triangle. In this case, it's inside of your triangle. All right, so that is uh, something like, this all right so you're gonna join like this 30 degrees inside the triangle uh meaning to say where this one meets with the line here we have got our point p all right so that's something like this just draw uh a line joining this uh from 30 degrees it is going to join or it is going to meet with the 90 degrees that you had before if because the 90 degrees you're not exact about where it is going to be so you can even reduce your line or just leave your lines as they are it's not uh, a big deal all right so the 30 degrees is the angle that is inside the triangle here so this is our 30 degrees and this is our point uh p so that was our triangle how it was supposed to look like all right let's see the questions now that we are given our questions, now the first part, locus again. So the locus part, you just need to know your rules. It's like theorem, sequence geometry. You need to know your rules, right? The locus of points equidistant from P and R. We talked about this from our previous question. We said whenever you're given two points, it's a line bisector. You have to bisect uh, where the two points uh, meet. That is on where these two points lie, uh, P and R. They lie on line PR, so you bisect line PR. So this one, it's a line bisector. So how do you bisect a line? Remember to bisect a line, we are supposed to bisect line PR. So at point P, we are going to just open more than half of the line uh, from point P here, open more than half of the line. You can even check uh, by, 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 by just uh, uh, assuming you can see that this is more than half of the line. You don't need to measure to say this is um, more than half, okay? By just uh, looking into the, the line that you're seeing, uh, your line, you can even tell that this is at more than half, all right? You do the same thing on this side, all right? At R, you do the same thing without changing that distance that you're seeing is the one that is more than half of the line. You must uh, use the same distance mark and arc here and you mar mark another arc. These arcs, definitely they will intersect. If they don't intersect, go back to the first point that you used, mark an, uh, mark again the arc properly, extend the, the line that you have joined it before. You'll see that they will definitely meet. Uh, so that is how we can bisect a line. So by doing this, we have bisected our line, but the question was not bisect a line. They asked the under a locus, locus of points, equidistant from this and that. So you need to understand your, your, your loci concept or the locus concept. All right, so here we are just going to join. This is the line bisector and whatever that's gonna happen, we do not know, so just extend your line. It's not supposed to end inside the triangle. Join your line, let them be big enough, but not that big, at least 
uh, let it be a reasonable line. All right, so that is our first part that we were given. And don't even write to say, uh, this is item B, item one on this line, just construct your line, uh, leave it like that. All right, let's check uh, the item two, item three. Item three, construct the locus of points three centimeters from Q. Like I said, it's very, very similar to uh, June 2020, we also had a question like this, locus of points from Q. Q is a point. Whenever you've got a fixed point like this, you construct a circle. So at the end, we were going to construct a circle of radius three centimeters from Q. So meaning to say from Q, this is our Q here. We need to measure three centimeters from Q. Three centimeters from Q like this three centimeters from Q. So at point Q, you draw a circle. This circle is going to have a radius of three centimeters like this. All right, so that's uh, three centimeters from Q like this. Uh, that is the locus of points equidistant from a point, a fixed point. All right. Then uh, now they are saying on B, uh, in this case, all right, let us check what they are saying on this uh, C that you're given. Mark and label points D1 and D2 that are equidistant from P and R. So, okay, whenever they ask you to mark this or do this or shared a region, they will definitely ask you something that you have already constructed before on this local concept that we did. That is where you are supposed to take your answers from. So they are saying, the first thing is that these two points, they are supposed to be equidistant from P and R. Equidistant from P and R is our item two. And on item two, it was a line bisector. So meaning to say these two points, they are supposed to lie on this line. Remember, this was our line bisector, this one. So the points that we are talking about, they are supposed to be found on this line, but not just on this line. Also, they are supposed to be three centimeters from Q. And the three centimeters from Q, that was our item three, three centimeters from Q, we constructed a circle. So we need the positions which are on the line by sector and they are supposed to be on the circle. That is what we are simply saying. Three centimeters from Q, it's a circle that we drawn. So these two points, they are supposed to be on this line and also on the circle. And this is our circle and the line where these two meet, that is where we have D1 and D2. The way that you are going to name them, that this is D1 or D2, it's, uh, it's a choice. Yeah, you can name this to be D1. You can name the other one to be D2. So this is our D1. This is our D2. You mark the point, then you label aside. Don't write D2 on the, on the point like this. No, you mark a point, then you write aside or write D1 on this. No, no, no. Just write that point aside. All right. So that is what our question was about. So like I said, these questions, you have to go back to the loci that you did. The same thing with this one. They are saying here, there is a point X inside the triangle. The first thing is that this point is supposed to be inside the triangle. Is said that it is nearer P and R. We are back to that uh, idea again, that a point is nearer this than, it's nearer P than R. So meaning to say the only thing that can locate positions nearer P or R, it's a line by sector. It tells us this is nearer P, this is nearer R. So they are saying in this case, the first position, it's a, nearer P than R. So where are we going to have the position that is nearer P or R? It's from the line bisector, this one. So for distances or regions which are nearer P inside the triangle should be on this side of the line bisector. That is where our answer is supposed to be uh, taken from. Our answer is supposed to be taken from this side. All right, let's move on to the second uh, statement. And also here, yeah, more than and more than, take note this time, three centimeters from Q. Remember, three centimeters from Q, it's a circle. And I said, from a circle, there are two ways. We have distances which are less than, these are the ones inside the circle. When they say more than three, suppose anything that is inside here, it's less than three centimeters. So anything that is gonna be more than is going to be outside of the circle. So we need distances which are outside of the circle but these distances should be nearer P. And, okay, so let's check. Which distance are we left with? It must be inside the triangle, remember? We said nearer P, these are the distances nearer P. But 
but more than now five centimeters, meaning to say it's not supposed to be inside the circle. It's not supposed to be inside. It's supposed to be outside of the circle. And any distance outside of the circle nearer P that we are left with is this distance here, is this region, this one, outside of the circle. And it must be inside the triangle, nearer P, bounded by the line bisector. Because the line bisector is the one that tells us this is nearer P, and this is nearer R from the line bisector. So this, uh, this region is not supposed to extend from the, your line bisector. All right, so that was our region. The one they are saying it must be called or it must be referred to as X. So you just indicate X uh, for that region. All right, so that was it. And on D, measure and write down the length of PR. Measure, you use your ruler, you take your ruler, place your ruler on Q, on uh, PR from P to R here, or you use your divider, then place on your ruler, you measure. Then you write as an item, PR is equal to, after measure, don't write your answer on this line and expect that an examiner is gonna mark there. Write it aside as an item. This is my item D. My answer is 8,6 centimeters or 8,5, whatever that you got, but uh, on, on my, on the one that I did uh, on the accurate diagram, it was uh, 8,6. So this is what you're supposed to get. All right, so as you can see, guys, this is how they will ask you these questions. Be very careful on how to attempt your questions the way they are given. So we just need to revise more question papers as we prepare for the exams.